Germany. My name is Dr. Vishal Surendra, Associate Dean for Clinical Sciences, St. Kitts. And my name is Kate Marbles, I'm Assistant to the Deans. We'll be your MCs for today's event, and we want to say thank you for coming. Before we begin the program, I have a few housekeeping notes I just want to point out. Please refrain from taking pictures until the end of the program. We'll have ample time to do this. This way won't be distracting to our videographers and to our photographer. Second, if you have any issues, problems, or concerns, please grab one of the designated volunteers. Volunteers, please raise your arms. They're designated by wearing their armband, and they're also at the sides and by the doors. Lastly, I ask that you turn off your pagers and cell phones, unless you're a doctor. <laughs> and that will be in about an hour and a half. So we'll try to make this go quickly, and I thank you for your cooperation. I now request everyone to please stand up, first for the St. Kitts National Anthem, and then kindly remain standing for the U.S. National Anthem. On behalf of the President of the University, Dr. Srinivas Kadam, the Board of Trustees, and the faculty, I extend greetings. Now, I would like to introduce the faculty and the dignitaries on the stage. The Dean, Dr. Gupta, the Associate Dean and a Provost, Dr. Richard Margos, and our honored guest and a keynote speaker, Dr. Vidya Sagar I also wish to recognize <coughs> Dr. Marcus Nata here from the Accreditation, I'm sorry, member of the Accreditation Board, St. Kitts and Nevis. I also wish to recognize our invited guests, the family, and the friends. 
but I especially would like to recognize you, the graduates. Welcome, one and all. I'm honored and humbled and truly delighted to be here with you today at the commencement ceremony of the Windsor University School of Medicine. Many of you today will join our highly accomplished Windsor alumni who have graduated before you. Welcome to the Windsor family. There's a good reason why these graduation ceremonies are called commencement exercise. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Graduates, as we join many of our own and other professional colleagues in this multicultural and the multilinguistic global society, the mere knowledge of anatomy, the physiology, and pathogenesis of disease is not enough. As you all know, the Hippocrates, many of you will recite his rules in few minutes. He suggested 400 BC years ago that if you want to practice medicine, it's not just enough to understand the human body, but also the seasons of the year, the air, and the water, and all, all of these efforts of our health. Graduates, your journey as a physician has just begun. You are entering into your fellowship of a lifelong learning career. In this lifelong learning process, I would like to give you some suggestion. Make respect, the empathy and humility, the core of your professionalism. Graduates, this is your special time in your lives. And we applaud your achievements. We congratulate your families, the friends, as well as our faculty and the staff who have made your success a possible. Graduates, we are humbled by the trust placed in us by you and your parents and the loved ones. We are hopeful for the lives you will touch, the dreams you will pursue, and the contribution you will make to the world in which we live. On this optimistic note, I would like to conclude wishing you an every success and once again invite you to the Windsor alumni and thank you so much. Thank you for a very uplifting welcome remarks Dr. Sundaresh. Dr. Sundaresh has been associated with the university from the very beginning and is like a guardian to all the students. Another admirable person who has been pillar of the Windsor University from the very beginning is our beloved academic dean, Dr. Brijinder K. Gupta. Dr. Gupta, who finished his medical graduate studies in 1975, uh, then went on to do his post-graduation in medical microbiology in 1985, and has been working as our academic dean at Windsor University since the year 2000. He also is a very good sports person, and believe me or not, till date, no one has been able to beat him at <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please join your hands together to welcome Dr. Brijinder K. Gupta. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Honorable Dr. Vidya Sagar Gora, internist, practicing in Michigan City, Indiana State. Dr. Marcus Nata is a e member of. St. Kitts Accreditation Board. Parents of the students who have come long way to attend the graduation of their children, faculty, administrative staff of Windsor University School of Medicine, ladies and gentlemen. It is great pleasure and honor to have all the distinguished guests attending this ceremony today. On behalf of President Dr. Karam, board members, my staff, students, I would like to thank you of all. And also the government of St. Kitts and Nevis for all the support which they have given to the Windsor University School of Medicine since last 14 years. This was started in December 1998 in a small island with eight students in Grantor, which is Ducks and Papers, which was under British government. And this university was started by five physicians with the collaboration 
under the chairmanship of Dr. Gadam, who is a family practitioner in US. In February 2000, we moved from Trucks and Papers to St. Kitts and Nevis with 12 students. You can imagine when we started in a small house, then we moved to industrial side, which was a shed. The students who came earlier, they know the classroom. They cooperated with the staff and they worked hard. And today you are seeing more than 700 graduates from Windsor University who have been practicing in different parts of the world, not only in US and Canada. Now we have at present 700, 700 students on the campus. I would like to extend my invitation to all the graduates that they must come and visit their whole school because it is always interesting. That is the reason alumni is an important factor in the life of every medical student. And you should always praise and have the respect for the institution, whether it is small, whether it is big, which has given you today this opportunity to become a physician, which uh, always we call it as a noble profession. And I think in future you will be keeping this noble word still intact. Now we have seen gradual and tremendous change in the progress of Windsor University in the last 14 years. They have performed well, the students especially, in different examinations, the board examinations, in United States, Canada, Australia, wherever they have tried, even in Nigeria, I have a list of the students who are practicing, more than 20, 25 students, they are practicing in Nigeria after taking their exams. I'm happy to inform you today that many of our students have passed the world standard examination in increasing number every day. I'm also happy to inform you that students have done extremely well in various exams. This year, it is a very good year. People say 13 is good, not good. But I say 13 is very, very good because this year, 29 students have already matched, which I have the information in my office. I do not know if we have some of them still missing in the list. We try to update this list. Now, in a couple of years, we had a few guest speakers. That is the reason I am encouraging you to visit St. Kitts, who have come to St. Kitts and uh, discussed and delivered uh, various interesting topics to the students. In the Windsor University School of Medicine, the students on the campus, we have from diverse population around the world who has come from prestigious universities. I wish to thank the people of government of St. Kitts and Nevis for understanding these students who have come from diverse backgrounds and culture for sporting Windsor at all angles. Now, during past few years, we have some achievements. Various staff members from the faculty, they have participated in the continuous medical education program, which we call CME sessions, seminars, conferences, in centers, US and Canada. Recently, we had international medical crime seen investigation forensic conference which was hosted by Windsor on 28th of November 2012 at our campus where Major Foreman, Director of Training, opted from the St. Thomas and U.S. Virgin Island and Washington, D.C., United States Department of Justice, Regional Legal Advisor for the Caribbean and Coordinator, Dr. Anita Simon from U.S. and Dr. Matrika Pathologist from JNF. They participated in this. They were the main speakers. More than 150 delegates participated, which included Windsor students, staff, JNF hospital, staff, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis police, and a cross section from the St. Kitts Nevis public service and private sector. In 2013, in January, Windsor University School of Medicine hosted and sponsored first CME meeting of the physician from North America and uh, participants compromised of alumni of my school, General Medical College from India. And uh, again, Windsor students and staff members also attended the CME and they enjoyed the uh, discussion of various topics which they discussed. Now, during the period from February 14 to 17, again there was a conference which was held at the Marriott 
and the topic was discussed infectious diseases medicine for primary care which is a, a very challenging topic these days again member of the staff they attended along with student on another achievement last month we had a medical seminar which was sponsored again by Windsor University where staff and students participated on behalf of board of directors president dr gadam my administrative staff and students i would like to congratulate you all the graduating students today and wish you good luck in your future career and hope that one day you will be proud of being a part of vinzen university which you should not forget any time in life vinzen university which is still in st kitts and will be in st kitts thank you and we want to thank you now, to give our class representative address, I would like to introduce to you a student that has done, I don't even know where to begin, um, a student that has done so much for the university. As both a leader, he has helped develop extracurricular activities for Windsor from SFH to AMSA. He's provided Windsor University with an international presence by being on the board for AMSA. In addition to that, he's helped grow our brand and help put us into the community where we've had a positive influence by helping develop Students for Health and other organizations. I don't even know where to begin. I got this one page resume and that doesn't even include his CV. But I'd like to introduce you to someone who's been instrumental in even putting together this program and who's been instrumental in helping be that Kulisa Blue between faculty, administration, and the student body, Afros Afis. Welcome, Windsor University administration, graduates, and guests. Today is a wonderful occasion where we gather to conclude another chapter in our education, let us take a moment to reflect on how this chapter was possible. Dr. Srinivas Gadam, the founder and president, had the dream of creating a medical school to give students the opportunity of becoming a physician. However, his goals were as large as his heart. I remember during an orientation, back in the day, <laughs> he said, it was not just about creating a medical school, but making it affordable for even the son of a store clerk or a cab driver to attend. He believes that all students who are passionate about medicine deserve an opportunity. This commitment continues to exist to this day, and this we should appreciate. Fast forward more than a decade later, Windsor University is providing the backbone necessary in creating future positions. As the school was expanding, Windsor students were growing through widening our ex experience in education and community service. Multiple school organizations were started that have met that goal. They have made an incredible mark, not just within this university, but internationally. The Students for Health organization, for example, went into the local communities in St. Kitts to practice preventative medicine through clinics. Each week they would commit to hours of taking a brief history, blood pressure readings, and checking GMR levels, and more. The organization started with a handful of volunteers and turned into an army strong of 300 each year. For many, this was an amazing experience to work in a developing country and was a real motivation for students. The communities of St. Kitts appreciated that Windsor University medical students were making such an outreach. Another organization was the American Medical Student Association chapter, which grew to the third largest internationally out of all the medical schools. The chapter held conferences, suturing workshops, seminars, coordinated a tutoring program, HIV AIDS awareness program, and much more. In fact, the awareness, HIV AIDS Awareness Program was featured in an award-winning magazine called The New Physician. 
The success resulted in being recognized